boy Cedric coming to you live here from Orlando. Hope you guys are having a phenomenal, phenomenal Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to my friends and family, my business partners, my network marketing buddies and pals, my affiliate marketing buddies and pals. Hope you guys are having a great day today. I wanted to talk about some farmer laws. Today I wanted to talk about some farmer laws that have to do with networking and why it's very, very important to pay attention to these specific farmer laws that can actually change your life when it comes down to networking. Now, we happen to be coming across a, a, a very, very interesting season, right? We're in the middle of August right now. We're right smack dab in the middle of August. Now, August represents a very interesting month inside of network marketing. Now, I want everybody to keep in mind that you know, we've got the summertime that's get ready to leave us. In the middle of the summer, what tends to happen in the middle of the summer? A lot of people have their mind on vacation, a lot of traveling going on, a lot of $50 ice cream cones at Disneyland, a lot of $1,000 a month power bills, a lot of camps and Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts and, you know, 18 kids at your house and only three of them are yours. A lot of that goes on in the middle of the summer. But then we come across this month of August, and these next couple of months are very, very critical in your business. And I want to explain to you why they're so critical inside of your business right now. Now, when you think about a farmer, when you think about a traditional farmer that's actually farming land, that's farming corn, that's farming tomatoes, that's farming, you know, cotton, whatever the case may be, they go through a couple of seasons. Now, let's break down those seasons when it comes down to you inside of your network marketing business. Now, I would say I am of the opinion that right now, in the month of August, you are in the season of planting. In the month of August, you are in the season of planting. Now, when you think about the season of planting, what are you doing as an entrepreneur, as a networker? You're planting the seeds inside of the minds of your specific prospects. You're planting the seeds for those people that you want to harvest later on. Some of them are going to come with you and some of them are not going to come with you. However, it's up to you to be the farmer and plant the seed. Now, when you think about a traditional farmer, do you actually harvest at the same time you plant? No, you don't harvest at the same time you plant. So in the month of August, you want to be planting. You want to be planting in the month of August. Now, two of the most important months of the year inside of network marketing are August and December. Why the month of August? Because things tend to calm down. The kids are going back to school. You're seeing a lot of that on Instagram. You're seeing a lot of that on Facebook. It's that time, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're paying attention. I hope you're paying attention. So in the midst of the kids going back, parents starting to get back focused, knowing that the last quarter is here, knowing that before you wake up, it's gonna be Christmas. This is planting season, planting season. Very important for you to be planting right now. Now we go into the month of September. After you've been through the month of August and you've been planting, hopefully you've been planting in the month of July as well, but we can't talk about that now because it's all behind us. So right now you're planting in the month of August, planting in the month of August, planting in the month of August, planting the seeds of whatever business that you might be in, planting those seeds into the minds of those potential prospects that you would love to have in your business, whether it be today, next week, next month, or next year. Remember, people tend to do business on their time, not yours. It's up to you to plant the seed. Then we go into the month of September. The month of September is the season for you to be watering those seeds. That's the season for you to be watering, ladies and gentlemen. That's the season for you to be watering. All those seeds that you planted in the month of August, hopefully you planted some in the month of July, but we're going to talk about the month of August, man, that we're in the middle of August right now. You're going to water those seeds that you have been planting all month in the month of August, watering those relationships, following back up with those relationships, 
checking in on those people, seeing if anything has changed with them in the past 30 days, in the past three weeks, in the past two weeks, or whatever the case may be. Putting more information in front of those specific people, okay? Watering the relationships, watering the prospects all throughout the month of September. You should be watering away. You should be watering away all throughout the month of September. All those seeds that you've been setting in the month of August, you've been planting them really, really good and covering the dirt up just right and sprinkling a little miracle Girl on it and, and sending them videos and putting them on conference calls and sending them PDFs and, and putting them in front of people and three-way calls or whatever the case may be, no matter what type of business that you might be in, you're watering those seeds now in the month of September. Then October comes around. And what happens after you water? You've planted, you've watered, treated those relationships really well, and then you harvest. Now you are harvesting all the way from what you have planted in the month of August. Let me repeat that. You are harvesting in October what you have planted in the month of August. So it would be behoove of you to stop looking at your microwave. It would be behoove of you to stop looking at your microwave. You are utilizing a oven when it comes to this business, not a microwave. So in the month of October, you are harvesting what you have planted in August, what you have watered in September, that you now get to harvest three months later. So the million dollar question is really simple. If you're looking at why aren't certain things happening inside of your business right now, why you're not in the month of harvest, not why you're not in the season of harvest right now, you need to look at your previous 60 plus days and ask yourself, when did I start planting? Let me repeat that for those people in the nosebleed seats. If you're looking at your business right now saying, why isn't it moving at the direction that I wanted to move at? Why am I not harvesting anything right now? You need to look at the previous 60 plus days and ask yourself, have I been planting anything? What have I been planting? Have I been watering what I have been planting? Now, as you harvest, in October, what you planted in August and what you watered in September, guess what happens in November? We go into a whole nother season of planting. We go into a whole nother season of planting. What's up, Layla? We go into a whole nother season of planting in the month of November. And then lo and behold, what happens after November? Oh, oh, we're in December again. Oh, we're watering again in December? Oh yeah, the month of December is a great month to water. It's a great month to water because the month of December, remember I told you August and December are two of the most important months. One of the reasons why December is because people get to do reflection in the month of December. They get to look back at their previous 12 months and get to make decisions upon the things that they wrote down that they wanted to accomplish that maybe they did not accomplish. And now they get to look at their New Year's resolutions and they have an excuse to do something new. <laughs> so it started back up again in November. You plan it. You watered and watered and watered and watered and watered in December. And lo and behold, January came around and what happened again? You started harvesting would you plant it in the month of November in the month of November? Would you water in the month of December? You now get the harvest in the month of January. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the interesting thing about this concept. It's very hard for you to skip these seasons. So many times we as entrepreneurs, we actually try to skip these seasons. And it's not very smart for you to try to skip these seasons because we're all gonna to have to pay our 25 cent at the door. We're all gonna to have to pay our 25 cent at the door when it comes down to that gateway of success. So if you say, hey, 
I'm serious about my networking business. I'm serious about building something strong. I'm serious about building something that's going to be long lasting. I'm serious about building a solid residual income. Remember, you have to plant then you got to water what you've been planting. Then you get to harvest what you've actually watered. You can't harvest what you planted if you didn't water it. Did you get that? You cannot harvest what you planted if you didn't water it. You have to constantly be watering these relationships. You have to constantly be staying in people's ears. You have to constantly be following up. You have to constantly be being a friend, not a pest not a pest, constantly being a friend, being a friend and being in touch with your prospects, being in touch with your potential business partners and actually caring about what's going on inside of their life at the same time. Cherish, cherishing those specific relationships. Very, very important to cherish the relationships, ladies and gentlemen. So remember, we plant, we water, we harvest. We plant, we water, we harvest. We're in the month of August. Perfect time to be planting. You plant right now in the month of August. You water in the month of September. You pull that harvest in the month of October from what you planted in the month of September. You go right back into it with a whole nother group in November. A whole nother group in November, you're doing the same exact thing. So you wanna build, you wanna build teams all over, right? You can't be doing this with the same group over and over and over again. So a whole nother group in the month of November, you plant. In the month of December, you're watering what you planted. And then the month of January, you get to harvest again. And then you do it with a whole nother group in the month of February. And you rinse and repeat, you rinse and repeat, you rinse and repeat, you rinse and repeat, you rinse and repeat. You, and repeat. you keep that process going until it gets to a point that the process is happening without you. Because the name of the game is duplication, right? And if it involves you all the time, you're not duplicating. So you keep doing that process until it starts to happen without you. You plant, you water, you harvest. And please, 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 always remember, no farmer from the history of mankind have ever planted any seeds and when they see them, when they, when they looked and they didn't see them sprout really quickly, they didn't start digging them halfway up and looking and seeing where the roots were. No farmer in the history of mankind has ever done that. They planted the seeds one week and then they came out there in a tractor and started digging them up just to see what was going on with the roots underground. No farmer ever did that. If anything, if anything, on top of that water, they added some fertilizer. They added some miracle grow. So what fertilizer are you adding what miracle grow are you adding to the seeds that you are planting within the month of August right now? Keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. It will explode your business in the last quarter of 2019. With that being said, God bless you all. Thank you so much for popping on this Facebook Live. I know you could have been anywhere in the world and you chose to hang out with me for the last 15 or 20 minutes. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the emojis, and all that good stuff. You guys have a phenomenal, phenomenal Tuesday. Until the next time, go out there and make somebody smile today. You know why? Because and so do you. Until the next time, talk to you guys soon. Peace.